Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today I'm here with my wife Ashley and what we're going to do in this video is extend some of the images that I've created using Midjourney using the AI tool in Photoshop called Generative Film. Every time that I throw an image on the screen that I created using Midjourney, I'll go ahead and show you guys the prompt because, you know, I'm an open book and I want you guys to see how I created it in case you guys were curious. But before I go ahead and continue, I do want you guys to know that this video is sponsored by... Adorama! Adorama. <laughs> Adorama. <laughs> Um, Adorama is an industry leading retailer that has been serving photography, videography, and audio customers for almost 50 years. years. And their motto is everyone is a creator, cre <laughs> a creator, and they do their best to unleash that creator within us all by providing us with the tools and expertise necessary to get the job done right. I personally shop at Adorama for both the great deals on products I use and recommend, plus the great customer service on those products as well. If you find yourself interested in any products I used in today's video, they can check the description below. Description <laughs> area below for links to any products I talk about and be sure to use those links if you decide to order. Here on the screen is the first image that I wanted to work with that I created using Midjourney. The prompt is going to be on the screen right now. I was pretty much inspired by a reel uh, that I think you showed me where I think it was somebody did a Midjourney creation where they showed how Hogwarts would oh, be yeah, yeah. if it, they did like a fashion show or something. Yeah. So I wanted to see if I could do like my own version of that, like a fashion show, but from Game of Thrones. So that's why some of the things that are going to be in the prompt, say Met Gala or Catwalk, I can't remember exactly what it says, but you guys will see it on the screen. And it wasn't intentional. That's why it's not in the prompt, but she does look like Daenerys from Game of Thrones, which was again, pure coincidence. There were other times where I typed the same prompt and it didn't give me an Amelia Clark looking um, model. When it comes to extending images in Photoshop using this new tool called Generative Fill, all you have to do is simply just get the crop tool and just expand the image to how you want it to be, you know, how big you want it to be. But one limitation when it comes to Photoshop and this tool is that everything that it creates is only going to be limited to 1024 pixels. The best thing to do to get good high quality extensions, is <laughs> extended <laughs> versions of the image is to kind of just keep it in those blocks. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and extend the image how I want it to be. I want it to be in portrait orientation and then just work with these different blocks. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of skip through that and show you guys the end results. But I wanted you guys to first see this first version, this close up version, and then I'm going to extend the image and then go ahead and show you guys the end results. So I was about to start, but one thing I always do whenever I create um, these different extended versions of the images is I adjust the crop like I just did right now. And then I change the maximum size of the longest edge. In this case, it's gonna be the height. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control Alt I, or I think it's gonna be Command Alt I on the Mac maybe. And now where it says height, then I'm gonna go ahead and just change it to 2048. That's the maximum size for Facebook and Instagram to look its best. I've tested this out. That's the size that you wanna use when you want your images to look good on Facebook and Instagram. So here is the final result. I had a lot of different opinions when it comes to what it was generating because every generated fill layer does create three different versions. I'll show you guys real quickly what I mean. When I extended this image, this last little piece, it created this outer edge of the photo. Um, wasn't really a big fan of that because of this weird stuff that's going on over there. So it created a second variation, which is this one. But then when this third variation came, I was like, okay, I do like the fact that there's another castle there in the side. So I thought that was interesting, but also created some different, you know, now that I look at them, they don't look like, it looks a little bit of like electrical. It looks like a light was over here and it's reflecting. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I mean, maybe if I like click generate again, maybe you'd create different kind of candles there, but I'm happy with this image. So now I can move on to the next one. And on the screen right now is the second image that I created using Midjourney. Again, the prompt is gonna be on the screen right now. So you can see exactly what I typed to get this result. I honestly think it looks, of the different images that I created using Midjourney, I think it looks very realistic. There's a lot so of de detail. Yeah, there's detail in the skin. Other images that I was, that I passed on, for this video, they don't have as much detail in the skin. But again, when it comes to Midjourney, it can be a process of just typing the exact same words and then getting different results. And then you can get better results or worse results. So just if you don't have good results, then keep trying, generate the same thing with the same words probably, and you can get better results. I think for this one, what I wanna do is really give um, this AI tool in Photoshop a challenge. So what I'm gonna do is just simply zoom out and maybe actually you know, change the orientation as well. So instead of landscape, I'll go to portrait orientation because um, those do better in Instagram and I'll probably go to like you know I want I want to go something like really really far 
see if you can create like the whole different um, she's lost in the whole orchards and... yeah the whole different uh, orchard the whole orchard I want to see if she can or if the AI cool can generate the entire orchard is it gonna do a good job is it gonna do a good job oh, oh. Um, that's cute that's not how orchards look but yes <laughs> it created its own thing it. um, let's see the second result now she's in the tree but it looks weird because the like the depth it, Some it, stuff isn't focused. It has like different dimensions, kind of like we're looking down, but it's actually up because of the sun. The, so the depth of field is not accurate to my eye. I think it kind of drops off too quickly. Let me see this last one. <laughs> they added her foot. You know, maybe someone's probably. I don't know. And she's in the ground. No, but no, you know what? Like... This is more realistic with the orchards. Yeah, the, but she's that's off. A, yeah, but see, like it is more realistic orchard wise. But now she's in the ground and somebody's legs coming over here. So, um, you know what? That was just to see how the AI works when it's just like a big piece. But what I'm gonna do right now is just do the step by step, or not step by step, but the piece by piece generations or generative fill layers and see if it does a better job. Hopefully it does. Hey, you know, we got legs now. Yeah, now you, so it was very important to make sure that you don't select, I think it was a basket. Yeah. I think it's this basket here. So the AI thought that it was like ground tree trunk or, or something. So I made sure to go ahead and go around and not include this basket to be braided, you know, extended. So now I have three different versions. I have this first one, I have this second one, which I her legs. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, what the heck, man? Um, I guess this one's. So that's probably gonna be. It's the most. Bit. It's the the best of these three. But I could, if I wanted to, click generate. I might do that right now. Click generate and see what other three variations we can get. What the? F <laughs> oh God! What is that? Tar uh -huh. on her leg, and now her other that's legs missing. Weird. Hey, you know what? I actually like that one. I actually like this one. She's squatting. She's squatting oh, for those uh, No, I'm, I'm not going to choose that one. I, I, It does look the most realistic <laughs> of the ones that we made, but I'm going to stick to this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it safe for work. There, yeah. we'll keep it. <laughs> and now I'm going to continue. So we went from this one here to this piece here. We got rid of that little barrel thing that she had because it was just confusing the AI. Now I'm gonna move on to the third and last one. What I wanna quickly do is show you guys some of the images, the other images that I created using MidJourney on the screen right now. In case you guys want to see me extend these different images on the screen, go ahead and let me know so I can make like a part two version of extending my MidJourney creations using this tool in Photoshop. But for this image on the screen right now, the prompt for how I created it will be on the screen right now. I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to look at it and then I'll go ahead and continue and extend this image, then show you guys the final result. And here is the final result. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again the original, <laughs> the original crop, which is crazy. It's nothing. It's I mean, it is something, but it's like much lesser than this entire image. Like even the AI created like her her legs and where she would be bending her knee back. Like even from just the from the waist up, it decided okay, she's walking. She's mid walk. And that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to go ahead and just have fun with this tool and make more videos showing the different things that it can do. But I also wanted to show what I've created in Mid Journey and also use the tool in Photoshop, Generative Fill, to extend those different creations. So hopefully you guys found it interesting. If you did, be sure to like the video. I'll see you guys in the very next video. But one last thing, I wanna say thanks to Adorama for sponsoring this video. It allows me to keep making content for you guys and have fun with these different videos and inviting her to different videos. So if you guys want to see her again, <laughs> Let me know, but that's pretty much it for this video. Take care, guys, and I'll see you. Maybe she'll see you in the next in the video. Next one. In the next yeah. one. <laughs>